you are looking at a live view of the Dragon Endurance spacecraft as we await its departure from the International Space Station so it can make its way back to planet Earth. And we're expecting the Dragon spacecraft to push away from the ISS. All hooks open. All hooks open to part burn one has fired Dragon Endurance undocked 262 statute miles over and the coral Dragon sea. SpaceX on the big loop separation confirmed. Second copy, we see it. So a successful separation again, Dragon undocking at 1.20 a.m. Central Time, 2.20 a.m. Eastern Time with Dragon and Station flying 262 statute miles over the Coral Sea off the northeastern coast of Australia. So with that, Dragon now stepping into Depart these burn depart zero burns. nominal. All right, so undock burns completed. That depart burn zero completed. Next one coming up in just a couple of minutes, but with Dragon now flying free, I'm going to toss it back over to Shiva and Leah at MCCX and Hawthorne to take us through the rest of the flight. Thanks a bunch, Dan. So we had some great shots there of the first depart burn. Uh, we're coming up on depart burn. So that was the depart burn zero, and now we're coming up on depart burn number one. Now this will be a short firing of the Dragon's Draco thrusters. The burn just lasting about 16 seconds. You can see that Dragon has begun to fly away from the space station and these initial depart burns essentially increase the range rate from the station so we can get away from the International Space Station and get out of uh, these various different spheres of control uh, around the vehicle that keep both of the vehicles safe. So we uh, heard a call for successful depart burn zero, that 16 second burn. That increases the speed at which Dragon is flying away from the station. It's gonna start to send it up and over the space station. It'll eventually come uh, down and then behind the space station. Uh, this depart burn zero puts crew Dragon Endurance and Nicole, Josh, Koichi, and Anna on their journey home. So there's a good look at where Depart Burn Zero takes us. We'll also be standing by for Depart Burn One. That's another short burn, about 21 seconds. Uh, that's gonna keep us on that trajectory to go over uh, and then eventually down and behind. Since then, the crew had a rest period and has since kicked off preparations for re-entry. Things are sounding pretty good so far. So in this next phase of the mission is when things really ramp up and happen pretty quickly. Dragon has a series of steps to complete before returning Crew 5 back to Earth. First, Dragon will maneuver to the correct attitude and jettison its trunk, which is the cylindrical, unpressurized part of the spacecraft. The trunk is currently connected to the aft or the bottom section of the Dragon capsule, where the heat shield is located. So, in order to expose that heat shield and get the vehicle ready for atmospheric re-entry, we'll jettison that trunk. And just a quick look right now inside Crew Dragon uh, with our Commander Nicole Mann on the left and pilot Josh Cassida on the right. Uh, after we jettison that trunk, we're, we're looking for that to come up uh, not too long from now, but from there the spacecraft will use its forward thrusters to perform the deorbit burn, which will put Dragon on a trajectory to return to Earth. The burn will last just over 11 minutes once it starts, and it uses the Draco thrusters on Dragon. These are the four located on the forward bulkhead primarily, and it's executed at the apogee or the highest point of Dragon's current orbit around Earth. This will alter Dragon's path to ultimately line it up to re-enter Earth's atmosphere and splash down off the coast of Tampa, Florida. Uh, that's right, and we're actually looking at that trunk separation to happen in about three minutes. The orbit sequence start. And we've heard Dragon copy. Good calls from the core uh, here in Mission Control Hawthorne. That's the Mission Control room you see on your screen. To the crew, another good interior shot. What will be covered up as we step into uh, nose cone closure. And wow. there we can see a live view of that nose cone closing on Dragon Endurance. So in the 
Dragon is currently inhibiting those forward bulkhead Draco thrusters that we just used to complete the deorbit burn. Uh, those are inhibited now, I should say, meaning that it was safe to latch the nose cone shut. Um, and the vehicle has initiated the Nitrox suit purge. This will help keep Nicole, Josh, Koichi, and Anna cool and comfortable during re-entry, which is coming up in about 20 minutes. At this point, like we saw, uh, the nose cone is closing, protecting the forward hatch for re-entry. So Nicole, Josh, Koichi, and Anna are using their screens to continue monitoring the locking of the nose cone, uh, which is done by a set of hooks. So coming up next uh, will be our anticipated loss of signal around 5.48 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, the crew just got an update on that from CORE here in Hawthorne uh, before we started the broadcast. So again, when we're in that entry period and plasma is building up around the spacecraft, uh, it makes it hard for us to communicate uh, back and forth. So during that time, we won't have communication with the astronauts uh, or the spacecraft itself. However, again, Dragon is fully autonomous and continues guiding those crew members uh, to our splashdown site in Tampa. That's right. That expected loss of signal, or LOS, as you'll hear it called out, um, is coming up in 14 minutes on the dot, actually. And all of the other little points of light you see around it, they appear to be um, streaking on the camera a little bit. Those are stars. Uh, obviously, that beautiful bright light in the middle. That's Crew Dragon Endurance coming home after 157 days in space. We are standing by for Drogue Parachute Deployment. That'll be in about two minutes, but we already do have acquisition of signal. That came, again, a little bit earlier than we expected. So That's right. it, it is a little hard to target sometimes. GPS has converged. Expect nominal altitude for drogue shoot deploy. Dragon is popping. Again, that point of light in the center of your screen, that is Dragon Endurance. Another, uh, a different view. This one infrared coming from uh, the recovery ship. As we were mentioning, all of those uh, team members that are ready to recover the astronauts are on the ship. They're in position. It'll take just a little bit for them to move in toward the capsule once it lands, but uh, they all have a very important and distinct role to play, either retrieving the capsule or um, helping the astronauts egress. And uh, they are all standing by. At this point in time, Dragon Endurance is about to deploy the drogue parachutes. Um, those automatically deploy about around the 18,000 foot mark, um, and the capsule's going about 350 miles per hour. Brace for drogue window. Dragon brace. So just a call out there to let the crew know that they are approaching that window where the drogue parachutes will automatically deploy. And just prior to the deployment, um, Dragon automatically safes the propulsion system and then deploys the parachutes to stabilize and help decelerate the spacecraft. So like we said, we're getting ready for uh, those uh, drogue parachutes to deploy on Dragon. That occurs automatically when it's about 18,000 feet above the um, ocean surface. And the capsule is going roughly 350 miles per hour. Um, in that view before, there was a difference, and uh, here we can see um, it's no longer quite streaking like it was just moments ago, or minutes ago, I should say. Um, like I said before, it looks like those drogue deploys are now, yep, we got... Visual on two healthy drogues. Dragon copy. As you can see with that infrared view, we have two healthy drogue parachutes on Dragon. Looks like we... Uh... It looks like we have main parachute deployment there. Strobes of light on your screen, those are spotlights coming from the recovery vessels as they continue to track Dragon Endurance. 200 meters, crew braced for splashdown. Copy, 200 and braced. Commander Nicole Mann giving out that call as we are standing by for splashdown off the coast of Tampa, Florida. There we can see the water uh, surface, Dragon Endurance coming closer and closer. And as you just saw, splashdown of Crew 5. 157 days in space. SpaceX Dragon splashdown. 
Names have been released. Copy Dragon, we concur with Splashdown and Mains released. Dragon Endurance, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home. As you can see on your screen, visual confirmation for Splashdown. Thank you, SpaceX. I was on one heck of a ride. We're happy to be home. Looking forward to next time.